What's up guys? I know it's been a few weeks. I've tried to catch some fish and uh, just have had no luck except for a couple whitey. So we're going down Padre Island National Seashore. It's a beautiful day today. Uh, not as many people as I expected, but it's real early in the morning. So um, hopefully we can find some uh, action going on here with the birds hitting the water. I see birds hitting the water about 200 yards out. I don't know if you guys can see that, but they're right out there. You could actually see things hitting on top of the water, but I'll never be able to reach that. Driving's not too bad. I'm probably at the two mile marker. Gonna go down to about the 20 or 30, somewhere around there. And driving looks to be pretty good. Let's find these birds, guys, and uh, maybe pull in some trout or redfish or maybe even a jack, my first very jack. Huge bite. I mean, it bent the pole pretty good, right here in the first gut. Yeah, and I think we still got him. Uh, it might be small. Whatever it is, we got him. Now guys, I went 60 miles down Padre Island National Seashore. I don't know what that is floating out there. But whatever it is, it's pretty big because I see some of it underneath the water there. But we're going to go ahead and try to throw a uh, spoon right here and just see if we can get anything. I see all this mullet in these waves. I mean, lots of mullet right here. And that's a really good sign. So I'd like to get past these waves, but they're breaking all around me. All right. Current's pretty bad here. Second cast, it got a nice one. And I don't think it's a ladyfish because it's not jumping out of the water. All right, I don't know. On the lightweight, fierce three, guys. Here he comes into the beach. Oh, that's a good trout. Nice trout. See if we can get him in. Yes. Oh yeah. Look at that guys. Nice beautiful fish man, look at him. Beautiful fish. Second cast with the golden spoon. <laughs> guys seems to be nothing but hardheads in the first and second gut so we're gonna move on down towards Port Mansfield jetties and uh, I'm having some issues with my my GoPro that straps on my chest it keeps freezing up uh, so the audio may not be as good today as it normally is it is right now because I'm using my mic but I haven't got around to hooking up something for the head mount yet so the audio just might not be as good as it normally is. But you guys can see all the birds that are out here. I mean, this is why I stopped here. There was just a ton of birds that were just hanging around this area. So I figured it would be a good spot to uh, maybe catch a trout. And I ended up catching a trout. As you can see in front of me here, some areas get pretty deep. You know, this is the furthest I've been down pins, so See if we can catch another trout or a redfish or something. 
I finally made it guys down to Port Mansfield Jetties. Look at that. All the way down uh, Padre Island National Seashore right to the end. So we're going we're gonna to fish right here for a little while, throw some spoons and see what happens and maybe uh, use some fish, fish bites and stuff. But this is the first time I've been down here and I've been coming down to uh, Corpus even before I moved down here. Uh, I mean, every year, two, three, four times. So it's the first time I've laid my eyes on the end of Padre Island National Seashore. There's a boat out there, a couple of boats, like four or five. Must be a lot of good fishing out there. But anyway, let's try a spoon here and then we'll, we'll bait it up with some fish bites and some salted shrimp to see if we can catch anything. See if we can catch some uh, whiting or uh, pompano. All right, some fish bites, sand flea. Water's really clear down here. It's about a eight out of 10, guys. It's really nice. All right, see if we can get it out there. Where the pompano are. And we're about two blocks from the Port Mansfield jetties. Lots of mullet running in right next to the shore. This is a brand new 20 pound test gray, low visibility, uh, with a brand new Pompano rig and a pyramid weight. So we're gonna see what might be out here, just right here in the first gut, with some salted shrimp. Look at that already, man. There you go guys, lousy little hard head. Another damn hard head, man. So we're gonna get it further out, I guess. This is ridiculous. Feels like he's not even on there anymore, but he's on there, he's swimming towards the beach. So hopefully it's a, a good sized pump. But it's not acting like a hard head, but you never know. It'd be a small little pump. No, it's a freaking hard head. Man, I'm tired of these things. Double hard head. Feels like a little bit bigger fish. And this is off salted shrimp, guys. Oh, look, two whiting. Oh, now that's worth it. I'll tell you what, I don't have anything to eat tonight, so I should, I should keep these things. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this guy. I'm gonna eat him for dinner tonight. Might as well, man. So one, now it's off salted shrimp, guys. I'm not gonna sit here and catch hard head after hard head after hard head. We're gonna go down here and see if I could see the channel right here. Maybe throw a spoon in the channel if I can get close enough. If not, We'll move up the uh, the beach. We got 65, 70 miles to go. Hopefully we'll see some birds hitting the water. 
If not, we'll stop a couple areas and try to catch some more whiting so I can have something for dinner. But this hadn't been a real good day fishing except for that one big trout, and that's about it. like it's going to be the end of the day today for me for fishing it's just way too hot out here um, most of the areas there's way too much seaweed except for when you get down about the 50 to uh, from the 50 on down to Port Mansfield jetties it was clear of seaweed I didn't have anything any problems uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to the channel hit the like button down below and if you feel like thanking me there's a thanks button down below as well we'll see you guys next video appreciate it peace guys <laughs>